Hello everyone, we'll be adding Charlemagne to your Discord server. I'll be leaving a link to the description at warmind.io so you lead you to this page right here so we can add that to your Discord server. So starting on, when you get to this page, you're gonna be clicking on log in. Now log in, you'll be using your Discord so then it can access to the servers you have. So you're an admin or whatever. So you can add this to your server or to your partner server or whatever it is you can add Charlemagne there. So when starting off, we're going to then add our Bungie tag to Charlemagne so then it can have your Bungie tag so people can look you up when doing LGs for Destiny. So we will go into the user settings. You'll scroll past all the subscription based stuff and you'll see Bungie accounts linked. You'll link your Bungie account. I have mine linked here. So we'll just go back to the home page. So now we're going to see add me to your servers. We're going to add it to one of my servers. So then we'll just, well, have it go to our server. Okay. So now we have Charlemagne added to my discord server. So now we'll see that we can now do some interesting things for Charlemagne. Starting out for one, we now can have Charlemagne do a create event. So a create event is pretty much your LFG thing. So that's why we said to log into your Bungie account, because then it'll show your name in Destiny. So then people can add you. So say this, say this was a very active Discord server and people are making LFG posts left and right. This is what you'll want to do. So there's two ways to do the LFG part. The one where a lot easier on a lot of people so they don't have to type in manually for a lot of things will be just typing in create event and clicking on activity. This will bring up all the activities in Destiny. So then you can go and put an LFG for it. So say we want to do a Crotus in. We'll do that. We'll press enter because it's already put in there for Crotus in. Press enter and it'll bring up this box. So to let you know, startup time is based on what time Bungie is. So for right now, they are EST and I'm CST. So I'm two hours ahead of Bungie time. So say if I just type in 11 a.m., that will be uh, 11 a.m. Uh, EST, not 11 a.m. my time. So say I wanted to have Crotus in my time. So I'll do it 8 p.m. CST. So now that is in my time zone. And then there you go. So now, so as you see, it has activity Crotus in descriptions. So you want to do a 3x run. So you can run all three characters. You submit. And now it's going to be in seven hours. We have a run you know, in description, 3x run, then it has my bungee tag here. So now people can copy that and then put paste that into uh, Destiny so then they can then join you. Maybe you don't want to be in here. Maybe you say, oh, never mind. I'm just wanting to post this because maybe you're an admin and you just want to post multiple LFGs so people can join so you can leave this. Maybe you want to be alternative just in case someone didn't make it to the raid. Maybe you also got tired of this post and you want to delete the post. Boom, delete post, and it's no longer there. Don't worry, this is an external plugin so I can see what's going on in the other discords because I'm admin some discords. So maybe we want to do something else. We make an activity in, uh, say, in a week. Okay, so today it is the, uh, the fifth. So we're going to then make it uh, the ninth. So we want a raid done on the ninth. So we'll do 8 p.m. Uh, we'll do uh, 9th of 2024. Now, as you see here, I didn't put in the beginning of the month. Now that's gonna be a problem because you're going to need that beginning of the month. If I try to do this and submit, it's going to quite have an error message here pop up and I'll show you what you mean, but you know, the month day, you know, month day here, month day year, you know, all that. So there's a lot of things you can see here that you, you need to have for certain things. So you can see it's the third, fifth. So now we're going to redo the activity here. We're going to do another Curtis in, we're going to hit enter. 
And now I have my little cheat sheet here. So now we can do say we want 8 p.m. and then we want it on 3rd, 9th, 20, 24. We'll submit that. And now in four days, there'll be an LFG that'll start for Crota's in. So that's pretty much the whole gist of Charlemagne and that's how it works. You don't have to be constantly typing in LFG of looking for what? Looking for three more Crota's in, you know, like you don't have to, you don't have to be doing that. You can actually be setting up things in your Discord server. Now this is for most of the people that have it already pre-installed or people that are destiny focused in their discord servers and you know i'll also point out that the destiny 2 lfg doesn't have this plugin because it is in so busy in there this is for more of a small community discord server that needs to put in a lot of lfgs or your clan like in mine as we go into my clan here we have an lfg so where we can set up certain things so i'm going to create an event in my clan's discord server we're gonna make a prophecy one because a new loot for prophecy. And now I'm gonna type in eight, we're gonna type in uh, 8 p.m. and it'll be three time run for new loot. And we're gonna submit, boom. Now in nine hours, people can join the LFG for that. And there you go. And that's, that's pretty much how you use Charlemagne. And I hope that came very helpful. Hope it's not too complicated. Um, for our clan server, we just have it, have the just spots separated and everything. Uh, again, uh, definitely if you want to learn more about setting up servers uh, and you know setting up bots in servers, there are probably more uh, in-depth videos on how to set up bots, but Charlemagne is very easy going and easy to understand. Uh, just takes a couple of seconds to read. Now, if you have any questions, I suggest probably uh, trying to see if Charlemagne has a support page on your questions. But usually Charlemagne, see here that in the DMs here, Charlemagne actually shows off like if you need help and gives you a couple tool tips on certain things. So, you know, there you go. Hope you all had a great time understanding this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.